good morning. I'm just going to leave you for a moment to listen to the birds and take a look at the beautiful bluebell woods here at the Healing Sanctuary. Teddies are already there waiting to have their breakfast. beautiful peaceful morning here in the sanctuary woods. Now I'm not Gary as you can probably gather. Gary will be with you all a little later at 20 past 10 when he's going to be with Alison this morning and he is going to be giving you a little bit of talk on the life of Harry Edwards. So do join Gary after this morning's healing minute as I say, I'll be off in plenty of time. And Gary will be on Zoom with Alison at 20 past 10. Um, and hopefully, technically, if it all works, he'll be on Facebook as well. So, good morning. Good morning to you all. I couldn't resist on a Wednesday morning coming down to the woods here at the sanctuary. Gary normally does one of his walk round walks around or he's in the chapel. Uh, he doesn't normally come to this spot so I thought I'd pick somewhere slightly different and what a better time of year than May when all the bluebells are out to be here. And after the healing minute this morning I'll stroll across to the memorial garden and we'll take a nice stroll down through there. So just sit back, relax as usual. If it's safe to do so close your eyes and just take some nice slow breaths. Take time to slowly empty your lungs of the waste air and then take a lovely big in-breath. And with every in-breath that wonderful healing energy is going to flow through your body, going naturally to where it is most needed. And allow the tension to go from the muscles in your face, around your eyes and your jaw, and then let that feeling of relaxation just flow down your neck and into your shoulders, down your arms, to your hands and to your fingers, and all the way down through your body. Just relax. And clear your mind of any worries or concerns, so as your body becomes calm, Enjoy your surroundings and enjoy that lovely view behind me as we attune now for today's Healing Minute. We give thanks that we are gathered here today. We ask that this place be filled with love, light, friendship and healing energies. Surround us in protection as we open our hearts and expand our consciousness to allow the flow of love and healing to come through us. As your crown chakra opens, you feel or imagine a column of pure white light filling your body. And then feel the balance and harmony within your body as the earth energy rises up through the soles of your feet and your base chakra. You feel your connection to the universal source of pure, unconditional love balanced by the nurturing, protective love of Mother Earth. And as Harry Edwards wrote, May I be thankful for all the blessings I already have. Grant me relief from pain and sickness. Protect me from all ills and grant me good health in the days to come. Remove all causes of imperfection and bring your healing ministers close to me that I may be conscious of their presence and so receive guidance and inspiration. Grant me courage and fortitude to overcome all adversity. Let me be conscious of your strength in all times of need. Grant me confidence to overcome my fears and not to anticipate harm. Teach me how to live rightly in your sight, to do only that which is right and true. 
I pray that good guidance and right influencing will inspire all your peoples to be as brothers, one to the other, and that peace should endure for all time. Touched by angels. We are touched by angels and walk where angels tread. They will guide us, walk beside us through the days ahead. In the hours of darkness, when our dreams have flown, they bring hope and gentle healing. We are not alone. In our times of doubting, still they understand, and forever touched by angels, we walk hand in hand. And we ask now that all the people whose names we hold in the distant healing folder and all the many distant healing folders around the world, that they will receive healing for their highest good. And we request healing for their family, their friends and people for whom they have requested distant healing. And our love and our healing thoughts go out to the whole world, to the Ukraine, Eastern Europe, and to everybody still suffering with the COVID pandemic. So let us have a minute's silence to send out our own personal thoughts today. And our thanks and blessings to all this morning for sending out that beautiful energy. So, everybody we thought of today will be placed in that healing light. And they will all receive the healing and the energy for their own personal needs and for their highest good. And as always, we thank all our loved ones, our friends in spirit, who join us at this time of day, and who join us all the time. You can feel their energy around you so, so often. It's just a wonderful feeling. Now, as I said at the beginning, Gary will be here this morning in about 15 minutes time. Uh, he'll be on Zoom uh, and on Facebook, technically permitting. Um, details are on Facebook and our website if you need to get the, the Zoom link. Now we're currently in Healing Awareness Week. It's a wonderful week of exploration in which healers from the Healing Trust, UK Healers and many other healing groups are sharing their experiences and it's in the aim of raising awareness of the benefits of healing. And between us we have events almost every day this week exploring the art of healing and its role at this time. Now it's very key at the moment, especially with what's just been going on over the last two years, um, and we are talking to doctors, nurses, medical people everywhere, um, and there's been a very large increase in acceptance that healing is helping so many people. It's not just those who are ill, it's often the medics who are so stretched um, at this time. Um, and we are so pleased that we have doctors and nurses getting more and more involved. And the more they feel the benefits, the more they go back and talk to their colleagues and to others. Um, and it's something that I think all healing organizations for many, many years have wanted to see. 
and there's always seems to be more barriers uh, than we should always get through. Um, but we are making progress and we had a meeting last night with a lovely, uh, lovely group of people um, and there was so much positive thoughts coming out of that meeting. Um, so we, we are going to get there, we are getting there. So details of all the events that we're holding this week are on Facebook and our website. Um, and as I say, if the gremlins keep away, then much of what we're doing will, will actually be uh, put on Facebook as well as in the Zoom room. So, I haven't got a reading for you this morning. I'm going to take you for a little walk just through the Bluebell Woods and into the meditation, sorry, into the memorial garden today. Gary does the meditation, babe. Um, but here with me today, I'm looking after Harry Edwards' prayer, I have some of our lovely little teddies. And it's quite strange that when I picked up Harry Edwards' prayer this morning, on the other side is the bluebells. And there I am, sitting in the middle of them. Probably in a very similar spot to, to where this photograph was taken. So, that's enough of me. Let me just switch the camera around and then we can go for a nice little walk. So, there they are. Judith this morning was putting the ribbons on. These teddies will all be blessed in the chapel. So anybody buying a teddy from the sanctuary will get one that's been blessed in the sanctuary. And this morning, here they are having their breakfast in the Bluebell Woods. I'm sure you can hear the birds in the background. So let's just take a little walk through here. This is one of my favourite spots in the Memorial Garden. Now I can promise you no bluebells were harmed in the making of this film. I'm walking very carefully, not to tread on any, stepping between them. I would never live it down, would I, if I damaged any of our beautiful bluebells. Some beautiful colours at this time of year. I never get my hydrangeas, rhododendrons and things right, so I'm not going to say what the plants and flowers are. I'll leave you to, to make your own decisions on that. But this is a beautiful, peaceful spot. And for those who have memorials here for their loved ones, it is a wonderful garden to be able to come to at any time of year and be able to sit in or just stroll down. One of my favourite pastimes at the sanctuary is sitting on the lawnmower and cutting the grass here in the garden. I can spend all oh, hour, hour and a half just cutting this grass. And in the past, you could have found Tracy and I both cutting the grass round the memorials where the lawnmower cannot get to. So next time you're at the sanctuary, for the day, on a retreat or whatever, do just have a stroll down here into, the, into this lovely garden. The colours change through the year. You can always hear the birds. Trees tower over us. Beautiful, peaceful spot. So I'm going to stroll up the garden now and just sit on the bench for a few minutes. And then I'll be going back into the house to see if Gary's ready. I'm sure Alison and Gary have their preparation done by now. But when you sit on this bench at this time of year, <laughs> what a beautiful view you have behind you. 
simply beautiful. Well, it's lovely to see you all this morning. Have a very nice Wednesday, whatever you're doing. And uh, Friday this week, Martin will be with you. So there's no healing minute tomorrow. So take care, everybody. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.